Hi everyone, Keyless Entry here. I've uh, just got a challenge lock video today. I've uh, just got one here by Thumper, and this one is called Suck a Puck. That's the key bitting. So, nasty gatekeeper on the three. Um, I'm going to try to stay away from that one. Uh, it, is, it is a five pinner Schlage. Works like butter. And I'm going to try to pick it anti clockwise because this is a Schlage. And I'm going to try to use a tensioner as a bit of a shotgun sort of deal so my pick doesn't slip down to the gutter there. Okay, so let's see how we go with this one. Let's try to get on an angle so you guys can see a little bit better, maybe. Okay, so. Very light tension. Okay, I think it was five then. Clicks out of four. Okay, so I'm in a bit of a little thing. Fairly decent false set there. Okay, stay away from three. Oh, touch two, and we are open. Nice, that went a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> yeah, put it nice way. Pin and tray. Get rid of that one. And he's even got a thumper written on the back there. That's awesome. Uh, let me get a screwdriver. Maybe a screwdriver will get this off. No, I'll just lock it back up first. There we go. Trying to speed up my guttings a little bit. My videos are getting real, real long. So, just sort of follow. Uh, oh, shim. Always shim, always shim. Oh, that feels like he's all the way in there. Let's make sure it's straight. On this side. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, just put that there. Yeah, there's the key pins there, so you can see there's a bit of trickery going on there. Maybe some pin and pin action going on there too. Wow, interesting. Wow, I don't know how I got that one open. Just gonna see if all these need picking or not. So as you can see there, pin three, to try to get some focus in on there. So pin three is like an overset trap. He's absolutely flush with the, with the core there. And five just needed a touch. So if I touched pin three, I'd be done. <laughs> some nice work there, uh, Thumper. I'm just gonna dump these key pins out. Pin. And that one was that way. Wow, he's 
beautiful pins. Beautiful homemade pins. And for the Bible. And for the yeah, for the Bible, sorry. Take shim out. Okay, start on the front, I guess. So there's some more pin and pin action here. Oh, I'm gonna be very careful how to take this guy out. Right, so he's in there like that. Now I've got the wrong spring on that one. Just homemade pins. Just gonna get these springs out one by one because they are looking different. Yeah, that looks, looks like a copper spring. little ball bearings stuck together. I'll give you a closer look at that in a minute. <laughs> I have seen these before in, um, in a couple of Boz and Bill's challenge locks. I haven't seen one of them for a while. And yet another different sort of spring. Oh, I forgot to pull the one out of three but I'll get them in a minute. That's a barrel spool, I think. Another different type of spring. And spring three. Wow, so it's got all different springs in there too. Um, so I'll just check the core first. Um, so this one's got uh, threading on two, four, and five. Uh, doesn't seem to be any undercutting on the others. So yeah, just 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 threading on two, four, and five. And in the Bible, um, get my torch quickly. I have to tell if that's threading or just factory. I'm pretty sure the, the Bible is stopped. Um, I'm just going to change camera angles so you guys can get a better look at these beautiful, beautiful pins. So we got keep in one, which is sort of got a spool component with a sharp edge. Uh, keep in two has got three serrations in it. Uh, keep in two, keep keep in three. I don't know how to describe that one. Um, sort of goes standard, then dro drops down, reduced diameter. Then it's like a serration and then pops out and then reduces back down like a sort of cone shape there. Uh, keep in four is a pin and pin. So he's got um, like a ring there with a couple of serrations in it. How many serrations is there? Uh, yeah, one, two, yeah, three serrations, no, two, two serrations in that, sorry. And the other part of that is it's got a single serration there. Uh, keep in five 
it's got three deep serrations in there and then a reduced diameter um, sort of like spool like again and like a sharp end on there again uh, driver one is a pin in pin just try taking apart get it apart a little bit and doing this through the camera guys so as you can see there so you got three serrations on this ring that sits on the t-pin um, driver two <laughs> um, so I've got a ball on the end and then it's got like a deep cut and then two more serrations beautiful pins man beautiful um, driver three is like a spool with a serration at the end and a very very sharp end on that and uh, keep in four uh, correct me if I'm wrong but it looks like an asso, uh, sorry, asso barrel spool or just an asso spool I'm not too sure and driver five is um, uh, it's like one of those lanyard or keychain things um, you know um, yeah so he's put put a couple of them in there so that felt a bit tricky that felt really really mushy and he's got all different uh, types of springs in there uh, I'm just gonna see so that one is really really strong actually it's like a super spring so that one there is, feels pretty strong too that's probably it gets weak oh then this one's so it looks like they go from really really strong to really really weak so yeah wow I'm surprised I got that open so quick <laughs> anyway guys um, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time take care